Do you often wonder how can you remain calm? Well, stay with me. On today's episode, I am going to share with you what works for me in order to remain calm under stressful situations. Hello travel lovers! For those of you who don't know me yet, my name is Diana Maria, a former flight attendant with a decade of flying experience. I've created this YouTube channel to help people like you all over the world in achieving your dreams and goals in becoming a flight attendant. On today's episode, I am going to share with you what works for me in order to remain calm under unexpected situations. On my previous episode, I've shared with you how can you remain calm when dealing with difficult people. On today's episode and episode number two, I am going to talk to you about how can you remain calm under unexpected situations. Unfortunately, they do not teach us in school how can we remain calm under unexpected situations. I am going to share with you what kind of feelings and emotions you should expect when you are dealing with a very unexpected situation, such as fire or someone is fainting next to you. Certain emotions and certain feelings are not easy to deal with because you have never encountered that kind of situation. When I was first time faced with fire in the building that I was actually leaving, once I was outside the building, my entire body was petrified. I could not move. It didn't matter what I was telling to myself that I am safe or I am out of danger. My brain could not actually unblock my body. I once went on a holiday and I was just walking peacefully by the pool. Suddenly, a giant snake starts swinging his way out into the pool and cross to the other side. I can promise you that my entire body starts shaking inside out and I could not move. These are only a handful of examples. Clearly there is much more to it, but we're not going to talk about them. I wanna share with you how can you snap out of it when you are dealing with such kind of situations. First thing that you must do when you are under such situation detach yourself from any emotions and feelings. Do not allow your brain to take over because your brain could be your worst enemy. But guess whose brain is it? It's your brain, so you need to control that. Second thing, not everyone has been fortunate enough to have appropriate training when dealing with this kind of situation. But if you did, that's good for you. That means you have a list to go through in your mind in order to escape the situation. If you haven't been fortunate enough to receive such kind of training, that's not a problem at all because you know what? You actually watch TV. Media feeds you with so many information that your brain is like a folder. Go through your folder, see what information you can find there, what people did in certain situation to get out of this event. Not only day in and day out you watch movies, Go through your movies, see what can you do and what other people did in order to get out of those situations. And number three, when you are dealing with unexpected situations, do not keep the information for yourself. Spread the word, let people know. For example, if you're dealing with the fire, call the firefighters. If you're dealing with a medical case, let your people know call an ambulance because people are willing to help and some people react different to stress than you. Even shout, in such situation, you do not have time to waste. You need to act fast and think fast. Now, I want you all to sit down and have a chat with yourself. How do you react when you are fully rested and you had a good night's sleep versus when you didn't have a good night's sleep. Do you think you're calmer when you're rested? And I'm just going to share with you a bonus tip. Basically, most of people react to stress with anger because they haven't slept properly, they are hungry and they are overworked. Think, how can you not fall into these three categories? For any questions you might have regarding the lifestyle of a flight attendant or how to become a flight attendant, 
I've created specially for you a monthly live event on my Facebook page. In order for you to be able to participate, make sure you do follow me so you are not going to miss the notification. I thank you so much for watching and if you did find this information useful, do let me know in the comments down below, subscribe to my YouTube channel and why not like it. Until next time we meet, let your wings spread and fly as high. Sky is your limit and who knows, I'll meet you up in the sky.